So welcome to our presentation on infrastructure monitoring. We're going to be talking about displacement detection using optical sensors. And uh, we're here with uh, Dr. Frankie as well. My name is John Hedengren. I'm in the chemical engineering department, and Dr. Frankie is in the civil and environmental engineering department at Brigham Young University. Uh, one of the things that uh, we're going to be looking at in particular uh, with this project are, um, as I mentioned, infrastructure, but looking at canals, levees, dams, and other structures. Uh, the thing that we want you to keep in mind is that some of these techniques uh, are generally applicable even beyond infrastructure in the sense that they can be used uh, with computer vision techniques. You can use uh, computer vision to construct 3D point cloud models to be able to map out uh, terrains, um, objects that you want to be able to monitor, pipelines, uh, and such. So let me go on to the uh, next slide, and I'll, I'll turn that over to Dr. Frankie to talk about uh, the need and industrial relevance. Great. Thanks, Dr. Hedengren. So as a civil engineer, I can say that I have a lot of interest in uh, the lifetime and, and the importance of our infrastructure that we have. We have seen several instances where infrastructure has been failing or had problems in recent years, including the Hurricane Katrina, the I-35 bridge collapse in Minneapolis, and, and many, many others. And really, the problem comes down to this. Our infrastructure is getting very old, and it needs a lot more maintenance and care. So the problem is that over the last several decades, we've relied solely on manual inspection of our infrastructure. And as our infrastructure is growing and becoming a lot more complex, we, don't, we simply don't have the manpower to be able to monitor and inspect the infrastructure to the, the degree and the accuracy that it needs. And so we're really interested in finding some new advanced technology that can improve the way that we do things and can hopefully uh, build upon other technologies that we are trying to use right now, such as LIDAR or, or radar, the problem with these technologies is that they're quite extensive. And so if we could find an approach or a technology that's a much more affordable but still gives us what we're looking for, then, then I think we have a winner. So let's go to the next slide. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about project goals uh, for this uh, this. Uh, project with the Center for Unmanned Aircraft Systems. Um, we have a two-year project that we're proposing, and in the first year, we're essentially going to refine the technologies in a very controlled environment, in a laboratory environment, and then in the second year, use those uh, technologies, the developments that we've made in those areas to then apply them to flight tests and other uh, other other uh, situations that we want to be able to monitor, specific pipelines, levees, dams, et cetera. Okay, so we're going to be laying the groundwork for some of this vision technology specifically with infrastructure monitoring in mind. Okay, for year one, we, uh, we're going to you know, fill out some of the, the uh, gaps that we have in terms of what's out there, what are the technologies that are already there that we can use uh, we want to be able to use open source options within the software so it's generally distributable uh, and, and usable um, within the organizations that are going to be supporting us. Um, we also want to be able to assess the accuracy, how much accuracy can we achieve with this technology and also optimize uh, the coupling of that accuracy of the computer vision with the flight optimization as well. A year two, then, as I mentioned, we're going to be doing uh, field tests at sites, um, pipelines, soil, slope embankment, asphalt, concrete pavement, and a rock fall as well. And we have some sites in mind for those. And we'll be refining those site, the site selection with the help of the Industrial Advisory Board. Um, so let me go on to the, uh, the next slide. The, the approach with this is to, first of all, establish the test environment in a very controlled a situation, be able to assess the accuracy, the development needs, participate in that development, um, and then uh, you know, with these sensors, uh, be able to create these 3D point cloud models that can then be used to generate contour maps and other change detection algorithms. You change the detection algorithms to be able to highlight 
areas of critical uh, in, uh, areas that we want to focus on for the inspection. So in an augmented reality environment, be able to highlight areas that are in most need of analysis. And, uh, and this will be a, a, a feedback loop where we'll be refining these different steps in this as we go. Okay, so um, the outcome and deliverables for this first year is we're going to talk about the effectiveness, find out the effectiveness of this computer vision to detect and accurately measure the displacement. Uh, this is just one example of a rock ball uh, very close here to Snowbird. Uh, up the same canyon where there's uh, uh, frequent rock falls in this area and from the uh, the photos and videos we've been able to reconstruct uh, this rock fall you, you'll see a, uh, a video later on in the uh, presentation of some of these sites but this is just a still image from that 3d point cloud model that has surface retexturing uh, put on it as well okay so I'm going to turn it back over to Dr. Frankie for uh, the project impact Great. Well, uh, I'm really excited about the potential impacts from this project. Uh, in addition to opening the door and starting a new research direction for the, the research center here in UAS, um, I also am excited for the ability that, that we're introducing this new technology of computer vision that I think it has a lot of potential applications outside of infrastructure. The ability to develop highly accurate or, or, or detailed point cloud models using nothing more than a video camera, uh, which is, is probably much cheaper than the conventional sensors that we use for, for other aspects, I think uh, has a lot of potential uh, for you industry members. Uh, the, the ability to be able to fly a small UAV and, and monitor and to get all the data you need to develop a three-dimensional point cloud model for uh, probably less than $3,000 has a lot of appeal and a lot of potential application. Let's uh, go to the next slide. Thanks. Uh, another uh, important impact is introducing a methodology like this could, could really change the, uh, the approach that we take in monitoring infrastructure. Because there's so much infrastructure to monitor and so many things to monitor, we're, we're often forced to take a very reactive stance. In, in other words, the places we spend our resources are the places that break. Once it breaks, we go and we fix it. We, we don't have sufficient resources to really catch the problems before they occur. We're hoping that by introducing this new technology with the UAVs and the computer vision that, that we can begin to be more proactive in the monitoring of our infrastructure and, and other objects as well. And by doing so, then we can then invest in and utilize our, our limited human resources to the areas that they're most truly needed and that we can allow the computers and the, and the, uh, the UAVs to do the remainder, the majority of the work for us. So, uh, for example, on very long aspects of infrastructure, maybe like a canal or a pipeline, this, this still photo here shows a, a clip from a computer vision model of a canal down in Emory County, Utah. The uh, ability of a UAV to fly many miles and to capture detailed images and, and capture details of these structures that otherwise would be difficult for a single person maybe driving his truck along the side of the canal to see and spot it really has a lot of potential. And our, our vision and our hope is that in the future, the UAV will be able to detect uh, items of interest, maybe uh, potential anomalies, maybe a pipeline that might be leaking, or maybe a wet spot next to a canal or a levee, and then be able to detect it automatically through computer vision and then send a relay or a, a warning message back to the engineers to say, you might need to send out an engineer to this location to look at this. That would have a tremendous impact uh, on our industry and it could really change the way that we play the game today. So uh, in closing, we'd like to talk about uh, the project duration and our proposed budget. Uh, 
because of the, the scope and the scale of what we'd like to do with these uh, displacement detection research, we're proposing a two-year project. Uh, this first year, we're asking for $50,000 from the center. This $50,000 will fund two PIs, Dr. Hedengren and I, and one graduate student to perform uh, mostly this research related to computer vision and then optimizing the flight patterns of the UAVs to develop these computer vision models. But our hope is that we're going to be able to develop some good, high-quality models that we can start applying and, and uh, that we can start applying the technology in the second year to the field and get some good data. But I think we have a great starting point. For instance, if you look at these photos on this slide, the photo on the left is, a, is an actual photo taken from the UAV of a dam down in Emory County called Joe's Valley Reservoir Dam. Now, the photo on the right is a still image of the computer vision model that we developed from these video images. You can see that there's great detail in that computer vision model, and in many instances, it may be difficult to tell which one's the photo and which one's the model. So these are the, this is the starting point, and I think that, that what we're proposing to do could have some great promise and impacts on, on not only the field of civil engineering and the monitoring infrastructure, but potentially in other fields as well that are looking for a, an affordable approach to develop some high-quality, accurate, three-dimensional computer models of various objects. Okay, so what are we looking at here? All right, so this is virtual cockpit. Uh, we're going to try and put the autopilot up in the air. Um, and we've just marked out a path here, waypoints along the dike. Um, we're just going to put the camera straight down and try and get video of the, uh, the dam here. Uh, and have it fly back and, and rally back above us. OK, so it's going to rally right above us. Um, when we launch it, what is it going to do? Um, so we're going to launch here from the parking lot. And it's going to climb to about 200 meters over here at the takeoff point. Um, and then it'll just hover there until we put it in nav mode. Okay. And then at that point it'll start following the waypoints.